everybody and welcome back to the noob journey. My name is Chipmaster22 and again I'm on my own. Rickson has dumped me once again for the sesh it seems. So uh, here we are in Italy and it looks like we've uh, managed to replicate the actual Italian Grand Prix qualifying. It is absolutely pissing you down out here and I'm sure we'll have more crashes than in the uh, in the real race as well. But uh, yeah, here in uh, qualifying at the moment, we've on board with some nerd who's just making his way around the... Uh, the swimming pool that is the Monza circuit, but uh, before we get into the race, I will hand it over to our special guest for the commentary of qualifying. Hello everybody, it is me again for your quality report. Yeah, unfortunately couldn't find anybody, so I'm going to be doing the quality report today for round number eight around Italy. On board with Alex Corsa once again in that banana car as uh, you might as well be swimming here in Italy because it's absolutely pouring it down almost replicating the real life conditions here in Italy but he comes down the main straight no DRS of course because of the rain will he break on time no no he won't he uh, decides to miss it he picked by about a mile doesn't invalidate it so that's the uh, that's the important thing there maybe he can recover it we'll, we'll have to wait until he comes Round the uh, Cure Grande, or however you try and pronounce it, uh, it seems to keep flat, so that is, that, that's good from, from Alex, so, you know, he's, he's not fantastic, but he's, he's done that as he comes towards the chicken I cannot pronounce, we're able to do it, he double turn into the apex, I'm not quite sure you how you've managed to do that Alex, it's just impressive if anything, but coming towards Lesbian 1 and Lesbian 2, he manages more okay back end steps out there's stricken Torosa there okay run lesbian one how does he do run lesbian two cuts it okay he's taking the alternative line around Italy maybe the rallycross version of uh, this track but coming down towards Ascari well a poor lap so far so I think he just needs to finish it off and then do another one really but uh, misses I, I don't even know what to say anymore do, are you scared of Apex Alex because you keep on missing uh, the mall and uh, he does more cutting. No penalties. I don't know whether he's paid off the stewards because he's done quite a bit of cutting around this lap as he comes towards the final bend, Parabolica, or as Alex has to call it, Raskas for some weird reason. That, but that's, uh, that's Monaco, Alex. But he comes round the final bend, probably the best corner he's done all uh, all lap, and uh, he comes across the line to get a uh, one minute thirty nine point eight, which is horrendous. But we'll, uh, we'll see how he compares to everybody else. It looks like Frobo Jobo, geez, seven seconds quicker than Alex with a 132.5. December 2nd, uh, Rewind, Charlie, Sun Mid, Jonesy, Corsa finally finishing seventh. Seems he didn't want to put intermediate tyres on, and that, that's why he's so far back. Degu in eighth, over at Lama ninth, and everyone else didn't do a lap. So that rounds off the qualifying report, and I will see you in the race. So here we are, it is race time, as you saw by the uh, screen before, it was very, very wet, but here we are, it is race time. So, prediction-wise, um, I'm going to go with Frobo Jobo to, to win today, um, so it just should, should be a good one. So, uh, yeah, on my own, so hopefully my voice doesn't go uh, during the race. So that's uh, five red lights for the Italian Grand Prix. And away we go, and Jonesy's had another jump start. It's two weeks in a row now he's had a jump start, but there's a Force India off, and that's God's Among Us. But Jonesy is in the lead by miles, but he's going to have to do a drive-through. There's a Renault trying to dive down the inside of a Mercedes, it looks like. But Frobo Joba leads going into turn one and two through the chicane. Set the one yellow flag, so who is that for? It's for Charlie, it looks like we're going to stay on board with the leading pack, Frobo Jobo, in first place at the moment. Still yellow flags in sector one, that's God's Among Us. Yeah, that's God's among us. So, <laughs> Jonesy, still in first, but he had that drive-through, so he's going to have to do a, do a stop, well, not stop, a drive-through at one point. I can't even get my words correct at the moment, but Frobo Jobo in, uh, in technically the lead at the moment, and uh, Semba batting away with Alex Degu yet again. He's getting involved. I think he's going to dive it down the inside through the second Lesmo, and that's a good move from Alex Degu. Go on, why do he oh, almost take to Semba there and he's going to be under pressure from VS Rewinds coming down towards Ascari in the uh, second, second of three straight. So Rewind puts it down the inside. Will Degu be able to defend it? Can he do it? No, re good overtake by, well, a big corner cut from Rewinds there. But uh, that's going to be a warning. Oh, he's going very sideways coming through there. Oh, who is up behind that? He is over in Llama getting very sideways in the Mercedes in uh, sixth. 
uh, as you saw by the uh, the quality report, not the best lap of the world. But De whoa, wait, what is Dego doing ahead of him? But uh, Corza, good start, was uh, further down the grid, but uh, up into seventh at the moment, goes very wide round uh, the final bend. But Jonesy, of course, is doing his drive through. So Frobo is in the lead by a whole second. He's already broken the DRS on to Semba, who's currently the championship leader. Rewinds a great job in uh, third. Alex Degu, does he make a move down the inside? Oh, it's caught up between Rewinds and Alex Degu. And Degu is facing the wrong way. A nightmare for both the drivers. I think oh, Corsi gets a stop go penalty for some reason, but he's getting involved with uh, with that. Jesus Christ, it's a big move from Alex Degu there. But Faction Parler is up to seventh because Corsa, where's Corsa gone? Cause up to third. Okay, that's. Uh, I didn't see that coming. But Unzi uh, up into fourth as well. So they've uh, done well with the rewind and Degu crash. But further back, Lama up to fifth as well. Charlie's gone off round in uh, the south sector too. But that's allowed. Bottias down the round the first. Oh, he's at the wall and he's round. Oh, a big crash from Bottias. Crackius there. Oh, nightmare for the veteran. He's crashed round the uh, first Lesmo. And uh, I don't know where he's off to. But down in 11th place, drifting. Jonesy down in 10th, so he is back into the points. But uh, Deku down to 9th place now after the crash, so not good for the Haas driver. And my fan, well, my favourite driver on the grid, I have to say, and that is not the right line, Deku, but Faction Parler has gone off as well, and that's going to allow Deku through if he ever pushes the accelerator. Yeah, just just about uh, just about there. But uh, lap 2 of 13 from Jobo. another fast slap from Frobo Jobo. Great job. By the uh, drive. Oh, Faction Parler looks for a move there. Down the inside of Degu. Pushed him wide. Side by side on the final bend. Faction Parler's going to get DRS as they come down the straight. Charlie uh, just been overtaken by VS Rewinds. But Faction Parler, like you saw last week in Hungary, these guys battled away for absolutely ages. But Faction Parler, he's in the DRS. Will he pop it down the inside? No, he won't. He's going to stay back for now. But let's get back on board with the drivers further up who is that oh no it's Alex Degu spinning yet again oh dear dear me coming down towards Ascari he's got uh, who is that that is rewinds in the wall and uh, that's half a front wing for the Toro Rosso driver he was doing so well at the start and Alex Degu is even going to get him as well oh dear for VS rewinds there but uh, yeah, down into uh, down into one well, ninth for VS Rewinds now. But back on board with the, the battle for third between Corza, Unzi, and uh, over at Lama. Degu gets a three second penalty. It doesn't surprise me from Alex Degu. But uh, let's uh, Unzi. Been up there quite a few times at the start of the season. Dropped off recently, so he's going to be wanting a good result. Ideally. Overtaking Corsa and Sasemba ahead, so you might have to do it in the pe in the uh, in the penalties in the uh, in uh, in the pit stop phase. So uh, yellow flag in sector one and two. I'm gonna presume it's for Gods. I was right, it is Gods, as uh, he's now been overtaken on. Uh... Oh, Sasem! Oh, Sasemba's off there. Sasemba's off. Where's he gone? Oh, he just about saves it. Jesus Christ, that was a big tank clapper from December. Got scared of uh, the ghosts. And what is this? That's Rewinds and Dagger batting away yet again. Will Rewinds get him? Oh, and he's. Oh, it. Jonesy and Faction Parler. Oh, it's even more contact between the drivers. Jonesy and Faction Parler. Huge contact there. Jesus Christ. And Faction Parler. Is struck into a Ross and Jones gets a three-second penalty for that. Jesus Christ, I got on board with that at the right time there, didn't I? Whew. Big battle there, but Sem has lost a place to Alex Corza there. Sem has struck right back, and Andy's going to go around the outside. Surely not, not through there, but he will be in the DRS as they cut the next coming laps. And I'm sure over at Lama's licking his lips, seeing this battling ahead. But Charlie gets a three-second penalty in sector two or sector two. Yes, that's probably God's, but let's say on board. Corza's gone wide there. And uh, no, he hasn't. That is, uh, it looks like it was uh, Sasemba. And Undy gets past Sasemba. Sasemba dropped down to fourth place. And Sasemba is in to the pits as he got front wing damage. We'll have to wait and see now. He does on the right side a little bit of front wing damage. Sasemba coming into the pits. So he's going to have to go on to a hard tie. What is he going on to? He look, he's going on to the uh, super softs, it looks like. Okay, let's double check that because it is a bit funny at times. He's on the super softs. Okay. Uh, big hole there for Semba. Desiree's quines down on lap number five. Let's uh, let's get on board. Let's go uh, have a chat with uh, with some of the drivers. It's gonna get on board with. Um, it's, duh, duh, duh. Let's let's talk. Let's talk to Corsa and Semba at the moment. I'll see what happened with Semba. He may be on me now. 
So, Semba, what happened there? We saw we saw, uh, we saw you get scared by gods, and then you went off the track. So what happened there, pal? Fuck, for a boy. Oh, fine, sorry, my mic was on mute. What happened then, Semba? You, uh, <laughs> you went off, and uh, you're back down to ninth place. Yeah. Uh, do you want the PG-13 version, or...? Uh, we'll have whatever version you want to tell me, mate. <laughs> well... Gods among us, just without racecraft, just whenever he spins out, just spears it right in front of the track on the racing line. I had to avoid him, and that sent me into a spin, and I clipped the wall, so I had to pit for a new front wing and a uh, set of super softs. I see. Okay. Uh, I'm sure, Causa, you're very happy because you're up in second half, starting a bit further down on the grid. I am, but I'm looking forward later to some battling with Ken. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully, Sam, you can get back up. Um, but I'll leave you guys to it. Uh, hopefully, no, both of you finish now, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. So yeah, a little insight into uh, drives. So uh, Charlie and Degu battling away there. Degu's up to fourth place now. Gee, I think his best finish at the moment is seventh in the Noob Journey. So it'd be good to hit if he can get a good haul of points in the Noob Journey. I think he's got five or five points at the moment. So yeah, but uh, yeah, Semba. Oh, and uh, commentator's curse and uh, Degu. Beautiful. Oh, he's on two <laughs> wheels like well. Oh no, he's retired. No, Degu, no. Oh, he shouldn't have said anything. Commentator's curse there. Oh dear, dear me. Uh, it's Alex Degu out of the race, but that's good for Jonesy, who is up into fifth, and Charlie up into fourth. But over at Lama, uh, it did have a five second uh, penalty, it looks. I'm not quite sure what that was for, but uh, Corsa down uh, in second. Frobo, uh, he's, he's keeping up with Frobo. As you heard in the little chat, then he's keeping up with, with uh, Frobo. It's a uh, gap has closed. But uh, he, here we go, still 1.6 in the moment as they come into set, uh, 1.9 now. Okay, so Corsa is losing time to uh, Frobo at the moment, but on different sets of tyres. So uh, that was interesting. Oh, Frobo goes off there, and it's going to allow Corsa, and he's Frobo's round quest. Corsa's going to go off, it's a huge crash! Frobo Jomo is out of the race! Oh my word! What a crash! Oh no! Oh no, and that ally is gonna give over right Lama the league because Corsa's gonna have a massive front wing. Corsa hasn't got a front wing! Oh my word! What a race we have on our hands! Jesus Christ! Corsa's got no front wing, a two massive crash, almost three massive crashes now. Charlie is up in the third. Frobo's out! Oh my, went wide at the the first uh, first Lesmo and oh Jesus Christ, unlucky for the McLaren driver there. He's had no luck recently, but it's uh, allowed December up into fifth, which uh, I'm sure Unzi uh, is going to want. And of course Unzi's got a pit as well. Oh no, has Unzi pitted? Well, we will see now. Unzi has pitted, so Unzi and Semba are battling for position there, and that's over at Lama and calls it in to the pits. Let's stay on board with Mercedes. See if they uh, they should have a. Corsa does have front wing damage, so over at Lama has have a five second stop go. So who will do better here? Corsa has one as well. Oh no, Corsa gonna get taken by uh, by over at Lama. It looks like yeah, he's been overtaken. Jonesy Orson the pits in the background, but Charlie is up into first place, finally leading the the noob journey. Of course, he has not pitted yet. He's gonna have to leave it. Uh, he's gonna leave it a little bit later. It looks like, but uh, Semba up into third now. Well, he over it. Lama's going to lose it. The place. Well, he's side by side into turn one. He's still on the inside line, but he's not going to be able to do it. But his tyres are much fresher than December's ahead. And Unzi is uh, there as well. So you have to be careful of him as well. But uh, Arano just got to settle into it, and you'll see how he does. Charlie, of course, in first place, he got a three-second penalty there. It looks like he cut the chicane in uh, the start of sector two. Not ideal for the Renault driver. Of course, first podium last week. Uh, it was a great, uh, great to see. Semba still uh, trying to back off. Uh, Back off, trying to hold off uh, over at Lama's teammate at the moment. Go, let's get back on board. Oh, look, Unzi is all over the back of the Mercedes. There. He's going to pop it down the inside, coming into Ascari. He's got them all. There's a bit of contact between both the drivers over at Lama. Turns in to December there. And that, okay, oh, okay, he's going to give the position back. Uh, I'd say that's over at Lama's fault for turning in, but well, I'll, I'll try and talk to them after the race. But Semba. Uh, up in the second quarter as uh, a bit of break now but Charlie is in the pit and it looks like December will be able to get him who is that pitting as well that is a house how is he how is Alex Edgar in the pits he had oh no it's got to among us <laughs> that is why <laughs> just coming towards uh, the first chicane but um, yeah who are you guys supporting let me know in the comments below and uh, if you want to actually join and race, if you're on Xbox and you're free on a Thursday night at 7pm, 
you can join and um, race with us. Corsa, so not Corsa, Charlie. Oh, he's round there. Not ideal for the Renault driver. And Rewinds is too far behind, so Charlie's okay. Charlie's going for a trip into the gravel. So uh, Corsa up and forth. Unzi's not too far behind over at Lama, but Semba a big lead. Actually, Corsa dropped back. Corsa's lost places. Front wing damage, it looks like as well. So Corsa's gone off. The Corsa is down to fourth place at the moment. But uh, Semba, a huge lead, 9.4 seconds. Can over at Lama do? He's got three laps to gain a lot of time. And he's off there. That's not going to be ideal. And that will allow Unzi to get through now. And uh, Unzi moves up into second place. And uh, Corsa is not too far behind. He will struggle with that front wing damage on the banana car there. Jonesy is up in to fourth. And Corsa has binned it once again. What are you doing, Corsa? Jeez, he is just so bad at times, you know. He does so well and then so badly. Oh, dear me. But uh, Jonesy up in to 4 3 1 gets a penalty. Not ideal for uh, for Toro Rosso driver. Faction Parler not too far behind him, but he is on the very hard mediums. Andy under pressure from Lama. Lama is in the DRS. Will he be able to make a move as it comes down towards turn number one and two? He's there. No, it's a bit too far back to do a move. Oh, got very close in the braking there. Almost a bit of contact, a bit of lag there as well. But Semba, uh, they're, they are reeling him in, but I don't think they've got enough time to, to get in. Um, but I don't think Semba has any penalties. I'm not going to check. I'm going to wait till the end for surprises. But uh, Andy, oh, he's, he's, he's uh, close, uh, close to be overtaken there. Over at Lama's putting the pressure on. Oh, he's sideways, Andy. And Andy bins it. Luckily, not in to the wall. That's another three seconds for the Sauber driver. And Anzi back down to third. Will I allow Jonesy? Probably not because Jonesy's all over. Fred was left. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. But uh, Jonesy off uh, on a penalty. Sector, yellow flag sector three. Who is that for? Not to Semba. Uh, maybe someone near the back. That is just gods. He's two laps down uh, at the moment. Uh, Faction Parlet still down in eighth. He's catching his teammate ever so slightly. Charlie, oh, he's off there, Charlie, and uh, he's like, hello, no, everyone's a bit further behind, but Charlie, off, going round the second, Lesmo, not ideal for the Renault driver, not the best race today, Rewinds gets another penalty, it looks like Corsa, bottle job of the century, bottle job of the Noob Journey, I'm going to call it now, yeah, bottle job of the Noob Journey, so uh, down in fifth place at the moment, Jonesy is ghosting. What's going on there? Has he paused it? But that's going to allow Corsa to get through now, it looks like. Corsa will have... Will it allow him to have DRS? I can't see from here. No, you okay, think Corsa was a bit too far behind, but... Uh, oh, and Jonesy's back. Jonesy is back. Oh, it's good. I can't have both the drivers. The hand rate pops up from the Williams driver, but Corsa goes around the outside, run turn two. And that is Corsa up in the third place. Third place, fourth place. I do apologise, but Unzi is in man in third place. Lama is in uh, second. He is catching some ever so slightly, but the cool, calm Belgian up in first, and this will be a second win in a row for uh, for the Mercedes driver. So he'll be very happy um, at home at the moment if he keeps it like this. Don't think he's got any penalties, but he will leave the championship by even more points, as you'll see by the end of the episode. If he wins, I'll put the table up. So, uh, yeah, he's got a good 40, 50 points at the moment. So, uh, this will only be even more for December. But, uh, oh, really, Lama's binned it. Lama's binned it. And that's going to allow Unzi up. Uh, he will have, won't have DRS yet, but he will be in slipstream coming down to Parabolica. No, no, that's not. I, I might be right. But uh, around the final bend. And uh, Unzi has the inside line. Uh, will he be able to get over it? Lama the side by side. A bit of wheel bashing there from both the drivers. Lama try cuts for the inside. Unzi does have DRS. He's going to pop it on the inside. Coming towards turn one and two. And he manages to get ahead. Will he hold the position? Oh, he's outbreaked himself slightly. Lama's going to try and get the cut back. Oh, he's a bit of more wheel bashing on the final lap. This is the battle to stay on board with. And now Sim has a 14 second lead. Oh, puts a wheel on the grass there. God's getting out of the way nicely. But... Uh, Unzi up into second now. This is his race. That he, well, he's redeemed himself here. He's done really well today. But Unzi up in second. He will still be under pressure from Ore Lama. He gets another penalty. And Lama bends it in the 
gravel there. Not ideal for the Williams driver. And uh, depending on penalties, Lama might get him or might be the other way around. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, on board with Semba. Round uh, in sector number three. Had dominant race. Not the race he wanted. He had a contact with Gods Among Us. And uh, he had a pit early. But the other crashes ahead have allowed him to stay in the lead. As he comes round the final bend to uh, win the Italian Grand Prix. Congratulations to... Oh, he's weaving already. It's a bit, a bit risky, weaving uh, um, very early there. But Semba wins the Italian Grand Prix. Unzi will take second. It looks like, depending on penalties, we'll have to wait and see. Will he win it? He Lama gets it. Okay, that of course, Will Arm went across the line. Did he let him through? Okay, not quite sure, but uh, Corza will take fourth place, it looks like. Uh, Jonesy will take fifth. A good solid haul of points for the Williams driver there. Uh, how's Charlie going to do? Charlie's going to come over in P6, it looks like. Somebody has joined. It's a bit late, it looks like, to, uh, to join. Um, he was here at the start, but then... Uh, yeah, not quite sure what happened there, but uh, Charlie gets 6th place, VS Rewinds will get 7th. Uh, or Willie Faction Parlor almost overtakes him, but uh, very wide on the final bend, and he's not going to get the place, but with Rewinds, there's a load of penalties. So will Faction Parlor get him? Faction Parlor does get him, he's celebrating for P7. But let's look at the table. Semba wins it with over a Lama with 8 seconds of penalties. Undy in 3rd, Corsa 4th, Jonesy 5th, Charlie 6th. Factual Parlor in 7th, Rewind in 8th, Bunches Crackers in ninth, and God's Among Us takes one point, he's actually got points, so uh, good for him, and of course Dago went out, and that is it, that is all the drivers we have, oh my, um, so uh, yeah, unfortunately there were one of the, I saw, not some new one usually be up there, Louis Johnson will also be up there, but uh, both lagged out, so I couldn't get them back in unfortunately, but that is... Italian Grand Prix round up for round number 8 of the Noob Journey. If you guys enjoyed, smash that like button and subscribe to myself and Rickson and check us out on Twitter. Check out the Noob Journey on Twitter as well, it will be below. And check out uh, where we have for the commentary. I'm not quite sure, of course, it's done afterwards. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we will see you in a little bit for round number 9. Jeez, we're flying through these episodes now. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a load more surprises for that episode. So we'll see you then. Good night.